Propagating aloe vera is as easy as growing them and the success rate will be 100% if you stick to one row. But first, can you propagate aloe through leaf cuttings the same way you would propagate a snake plant? Let's compare the leaves. A snake plant leaf has a hard rind and lots of fibers inside which you can see very well when you cut the leaf. In fact, snake plant has so much fiber and it's so strong it can be turned into textile fiber. Aloe leaf, on the other hand, has soft and delicate outer rind and the inside is mostly gel. In fact, aloe is 95% water, so if you cut up an aloe leaf and put it in moist soil and a, or a cup of water, it's guaranteed to rot. However, aloe vera plants produce quite a lot of pups, which are young plants, and they are the easiest way to propagate aloe vera. Simply remove the pups from the mother plant, making sure not to break off the roots, and plant them in a separate pot. The pups will have small nodules on the sides or ends of the stems, which are the beginning of new roots. And the rule that will guarantee success with the propagation is less water rather than too much. So water the pup just a little bit. Don't soak the soil. Water when the soil gets dry. Don't keep the soil moist all, all the time. And water away from the pup rather than on it. As number one enemy of aloe vera is too much water. This used to be one plant, which now has at least 18 separate plants.